Hi guys, the task for this video is to raise a vector x to the power from 0 to 9 and store the results in a matrix. Let's start by generating the vector x. Now with for loop, I will show you two methods. The first method, we initialize the matrix that will store the results with no columns. So here, matrix number of row equal length of x and number of columns 0. And this is the result. Now, in the for loop, what do we do? For i in 0 to 9, we generate the, the object n as the x raised to the power of i, and we column bind this n with x. Here, later, we unname x because every time the loop runs and we column bind this x with n, the n uh, will keep the column name as n, so we want to unname that. So let's run this loop, and this is the result. So why uh, I don't recommend to use this method is because every time the loop runs here, we are generating a new object. The issue is that we already know in advance the dimension of the matrix. So what we can do, and this is the method too, is that we initialize the matrix with the appropriate dimensions. So we know number of row is the length of x, but we also know the number of column, that is the length from 0 to 9. So we initialize this x matrix now with all missing values. Now, in the for loop, here what we do is that we replace and we not generate a new object. Because here, we are replacing all the rows of the column at the index i plus 1 with this operation. Now, why i plus 1? Because in this case, i is starting from 0. Okay? So we are indexing starting from number 1. So we have just to be careful, be careful at the indexes when we work with these methods. Let's do it, and this is the same result. Now, you may know that in this case, we don't really need to use a for loop in R, and we can use the apply family functions. Let's see the example with supply, and this is method 3. What we do is that we generate a function that raises a to the power of n. Now, we use the supply function. I always recommend that to make sense of the apply family function is that we read the arguments from the end to the beginning, meaning we apply the fn function with argument a equal x, where x is our vector from 1 to 10, to the vector 0 to 9, where 0 to 9 takes the place of this n here in the function. And this is the result. So as you can see, within, within the initialize any matrix and the code is much more compact. Okay, guys, I hope the video is useful. See you in the next video.